Hi, welcome to Draw Plans. I'm Tom Norris, and today we're going to show you how to set up your model space to work like a pro. Now, it's pretty daunting when you, uh, if you're a newbie to CAD, or when you open up and you've got all these tools around you, the top, bottom, left, right, and so on. Uh, it's pretty daunting, and I mean, most people don't have a clue about model space until much later. So, it would be, of course, in your interest to be able to learn how to set up model space as soon as possible uh, when you start working with CAD. Otherwise, you're going to have major problems when it comes to printing and so on. So, uh, learning to draw to scale uh, is, is another, is another uh, area where people get very confused. And of course, it's not, it's not actually not in the least bit confusing once someone explains it to you. So I'll probably be doing a drawing to scale uh, video quite soon. But this particular one, uh, the model space, is what we're going to focus on today. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you from scratch. That way you'll be able to Hopefully, you come back to the video if you forget how to do it. Just come back any time, and uh, you'll, you know, it'll, it's basically a walkthrough. So we're using TurboCAD today, but it's effectively the same in most of the CAD programs. You just have to alter it a little. But if I show you the procedure, it should be pretty simple. Uh, so let's start off by opening up. Uh, no, that's that's not how we're going to start off. We're going to uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go new. And we're going to go new from scratch. Now, uh, in this particular program, the default setup, uh, as in the grid setup, it's all in inches or imperial. So we're going to change that to the European uh, metric. And to do that, we go to drawing setup. And what we look for is a little el uh, element called space unit. And we're going to go from English to metric. And metric. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to change the model space to 1 and 100, which is our default setting um, within the UK. And of course, it's the ma main default setting for most people working within architectural services. So if you're not quite sure what your default setting should be, I suggest you start on 1 to 100, and then you can work up or down uh, from that. But let's, let's start off at 1 to 100. So now we've got a, a, a metric page scaled at 1 to 100. But of course, in order to be able to print properly, we need to complete the setup. So the page setup uh, is here. So I'm going to do that again because I didn't explain it. Go to File, go to Page Setup. And here, regardless of what you see, just make these changes that I suggest, not suggest, tell you. And then you can work out in your own time what happens when you make variations on this. But go to uh, A3297, because that's, that's, how, that's how we print. That's the setup, A3297. And when it comes to the drawing sheet size, we want a comparable. Now, we don't do NZ or ARC, so what we do is ISO A3. So we've got A3297 here, ISO A3 on the drawing sheet size, and then within the model space, it's already scaled, 1 to 100. And that's where we're leaving it. So we're pretty good. We're good to go. So what we've got now is we've got a model space that's set up in metric and scaled at 1 to 100. Uh, if you go to print, we go down uh, to print, uh, that uh, paper space will also be set up uh, in 1 to 100. And if not, which I got, may not be, we're just going to have a little look here. It's actually, no, it's not. So we're going to scale this at 1 to 100. Uh, we're going to pop it into metric. And we're going to go 1 to 100 here. We go page setup again. And we go, where are we? A3 ISO. Now, in fact, you're completely scaled up in model space and drawing space. So that's basically a default position. So in other words, you want to be starting out on every drawing with at least having your model space set up in your preferred way and the paper space that matches up. So if I was to create something um, scaled metric 1 to 100 here, I'd be able to print it in model space. Um, that's effectively it. 
that's all you really need to do so we're going to have a quick summary and we're going to start again uh, but I'm going to do just a touch quicker and walk you through it so here we are um, I don't need to delete this just yet but here we go we're going to go new new from scratch uh, we go here uh, we're looking at drawing setup space units change it to metric uh, change the scale 1 to 100 now your model space is set up uh, in metric 1 to 100 but we're going to go a step further and we're going to set up the printing as well uh, set up the page for printing so at the moment it's letter we're going to go to a3 I'm going to go here on the drawing sheet size a3 again ISO and as you can see it's set up for 1 to 100 so we're good to go down here and we're actually spot on now down here in paper size again uh, it's a new page we're going to reset that up to do that just right click properties and we're going to go to name it um, one uh, one to 100 we're going to go metric scale one to 100 and remember we have to go to page setup change that also to ISO so now what you have is a model space that's set up on a par with um, your paper space. But the most essential bit is model space, set up in metric, set up in scaled at 1 to 100. Anytime you need to change that, go up here, go to drawing setup, and you have space units, metric, English, change it any way you want, change the scale. But as I say, start off 1 to 100 is really, really good for us in, uh, in Europe. And that's what I'm showing you because the default setup on most of the CAD programs will be imperial or inches. So specifically changing uh, the page setup, changing the uh, drawing setup, that's how you do it. So this model space is now in metric, scaled at 1 to 100. To change the scale, if you need to do something else, change the... Uh, the metric unit to imperial uh, change to print if you need to print to something else and so on but it's not rocket science and that's how you do it okay that's all I've got to show you but if you have queries and if I've left something out and you have queries or left you with a bit of a shortfall or did something too quick etc just leave a comment and I'll come back to you uh, otherwise I'll see you on the next video thanks for watching bye bye